A while back, I had a fun little idea, and as the title implies, today I really am going to be using jet engines on Duna fully stock. Now you're probably thinking, but wait, jet engines only work on Kerbin and Lathe. You'd be correct, except for one little quirk of the way stock KSP works. Now, before I reveal how this little trick functions, I'm going to go ahead and fly this craft to Duna. You'll notice that I'm taking a rather steep ascent, and that I'm also performing a series of barrel rolls. Thanks to the craft's enormous wings, it has a tendency to want to climb more rapidly than would be ideal or efficient. Pitching off of prograde would incur drag losses, so instead I roll to redirect my lift vector downwards and scrub off excess vertical speed. Once reaching the upper atmosphere, however, the craft stabilizes out, and it has a smooth, if a bit lengthy, cruise to orbit. Now that I've landed on Duna, let's take stock of the situation. If you run the math, I don't have enough delta-v to get back to orbit with the single nuclear engine, much less return home. And I'm not carrying the oxidizer, so I can't use the rapiers in rocket mode. However, I did promise that I was going to use jet engines, so now it's time to reveal the secret. In stock KSP, jet engines only care about four things to produce thrust. The current atmospheric pressure, the current velocity of the craft, having enough fuel, and having enough intake air. Normally, that last point prevents you from flying anywhere other than Kerbin and Lathe, as intakes don't work on any other bodies. However, intakes do store a tiny bit of air in each intake, and if you close the intake, they can store it indefinitely. That's what I'm doing here. There are 400 intakes smashed together inside the central fairing, carrying a total of four tons of stored intake air. Now, this may sound like a great way to make efficient SSTOs, but in practice, it's actually really bad. Storing 4 tons of air requires 8 tons of intakes, whereas regular fuel tanks would only need a half ton. Even worse, jets need a lot of intake air, so instead of 3,200 seconds of ISP, the rapiers drop to just 457 seconds of ISP, since we have to carry all of our air with us. Still. It's a pretty neat trick, and I'm curious what other interesting things people could figure out using this. Alright, I'll go ahead and shut up now and let you enjoy the rest of the video.
And there you have it, a liquid-fueled SSTO to Duna and back using jet engines on Duna in stock KSP. I hope you enjoyed the video, and stay tuned, because I have some very interesting projects in the works that I can't wait to share with you all.